What's up guys? Welcome back to another video today. We got a little opening unboxing for you. A little gameplay footage. Anyway, I got that game Kingdom Grand Prix on the Sega Saturn. And why did I get Kingdom Grand Prix? Well, I found it for a deal, or at least what I consider to be a decent deal. It was 60 bucks. So, game like that shipped. Hey, I'll go for it. You know, I'm trying to get all them Saturn shooters, right? There's a few that are about to bite the bullet on, but I'll wait till I find those for a deal. Anyway, this game came out in 94, came out in arcades. Obviously, it came out on the Saturn, but it came out on the Saturn in 96, and obviously, it was exclusive to Japan. Um, this is a shooter racing hybrid game. So, after each level, you actually rank. There's eight different characters, and you rank, you know, for one through eight. Um, I'm not really sure at this point how that affects, you know, you advancing the story and, you know, stuff like that. But I will say this if you beat the game in one credit and you rank first in every single race you unlock uh, a second loop and I kind of got to explain something before I explain the second loop this game kind of has like branching pathways after each level so uh, obviously the first level you just play through that and then when you get to level two you can choose between one of two different levels kind of like you know Gradius or something they're not Gradius Darius some of the Darius games you can choose your levels branching level paths but anyway two through six five levels two through five you can choose between two different level paths and then on the sixth level because this game has six levels you can choose between three different level paths now with that being said if you beat the game in one credit and you rank first in every single race you unlock a second loop to the game and in that second loop you can play all the levels that you didn't pick your first loop so i think that's pretty interesting now considering how hard this game is it, it it's going to take me if, if ever if not ever forever to unlock that second loot, man. Even on the easiest settings. God, this game kicked my ass. You know, weird quirks and all. I think underneath it all, this is a pretty decent shooter. Racing game mechanics and everything, right? But let's just say you're not down with that. You don't like the weird mechanics. You just want a shooter. You're in luck. There is a cheat code. Okay, this cheat code, if you go into the options menu and you scroll all the way down to sound options, you hit left, right, left, right, up, up, down, down, start. You unlock a game mode. In that game mode, you can unlock something. It's already unlocked. You just highlight shooting mode. If you do shooting mode, all the racing game mechanics are removed from the game. That's what I did. I kind of like it a little bit better that way. And it tends to be a little bit easier. I can actually almost get through the whole game now on easy in shooting mode. And just the regular mode? Nah, not yet. Not yet. Still need some practice. I'm too new. Too new to this game. Um. I will say this, there are some screen rotation options. If you play it in regular arcade mode, it seems to rotate the screen. So you're probably going to want to play this in Saturn mode. And I'm assuming Saturn mode was just to make it so you don't have to rotate the TV, right? So there is those kind of options in the game if you like that. You know, I know friends of mine, they love flipping their TVs up on their side. And I have been known to do that a time or two. But uh, yeah, guys, thought you'd find this interesting. I actually recommend this game. It seems to be pretty cheap, you know, among some of the Saturn shooters. But, you know... The further we get in time, the more expensive than things get. Anyways, till next time, guys. Peace out.